This simple diagram is meant to represent the positive feedback mechanism that we've put into the model. So if you imagine that we begin with a uh, production increase, that's the initial change. Let's say something happens and we increase production. That is going to cause the proven reserves to decrease, right? Because production drains that reservoir. So as that goes down, the commodity becomes more scarce. And because of that, the price goes up. So that's another effect here um, that's triggered by the production increase. And as the price is increased, that will then encourage us to do even more to try to produce more of the oil that's out there. It's, it's an incentive to produce more oil. So that leads to an increase in production again. So the initial change that, that uh, began this um, was the production increase, and that has ended up triggering a series of responses in the model that lead to a further increase in price. And so when that happens, this is called a positive feedback mechanism. It's kind of like a, a cause and effect loop, right? So here's a cause, it makes an effect, it makes an effect, makes another effect that comes back on that cause and, and uh, enhances it. So that's going to really change the way that this model behaves.